Thinking more positively is one of the greatest personal development changes you can make. Positive thinking is the root of all good in life. It is your thoughts that are manifested into your reality and so the nature of the majority of your thoughts will dictate your reality. Your thoughts will influence things like your happiness levels, your financial stability, your fulfillment, the quality of your relationships and your health. Positive thinking needs to be built up consistently for it to turn into a habit. If you currently experience mostly negative thoughts, then you will need to be conscious of this to change. You need to condition yourself to start actually observing your thoughts and realising them for what they are. As soon as you become conscious of these thoughts, then you can start to consciously make some lasting change. It's believed that we have around 60,000 thoughts a day, so you won't be able to consciously catch everyone. But by consistently conditioning yourself to replace those negatives to positives will have a dramatic impact on your life. In this video, I will explain the five main ways that you can become a more positive thinker. The first way to start to build the habit of positive thinking is to replace negative thoughts. The first step here is to actually become conscious of your thoughts. Most thoughts are subconscious and are not noticed by the conscious part of the mind. The trick is to be aware and observe your thoughts. Not only will you be amazed at the sheer number of thoughts after some time of doing this, but you may also be surprised at the number of negative thoughts. As you start to become aware of these thoughts, start to change the negative thoughts to positive ones. It may be that you change the thought entirely or that you try to find a positive in the negative thought you had. For example, let's say you have a thought about how negatively you feel about your boss because he is pressuring you for a deadline. You observe yourself making excuses and passing blame to others as to why you are behind on a project. This does not help anything. Instead, you should look at the bigger picture and try to find some positives in the situation. It could be that your boss is training you to deal with pressure so that you become more resilient in work and other areas of life making the rest of your life feel easier. It could be that actually your boss is just doing his job and you're grateful you have a boss to keep you accountable and motivated. It could even be that you're grateful for having a stable income where many don't and actually having a boss isn't that bad after all. Doing this exercise with consistency will condition your mind to find the positives rather than jump to the negatives. Negative thoughts manifest themselves into negative outcomes, stress, unhappiness, bad health and a fixed mindset. This is a vicious cycle because once this negative momentum starts, it will take on a compound effect and before you know it, more and more negative will creep into your life. The opposite is true for positive thoughts. The more you think positively, the more positive experiences and things that will appear in your reality. Success breeds more success and so the compound effect can also take place to the positive side of momentum. The second way that you can bring more positive thought into your life is to create a positive mantra or affirmation. Create a sentence or a few sentences that describe how you would like to be in life, including your positive thinking and habits. Create this affirmation in the present tense so that you trick your subconscious mind to believe that the things in the statement are already true. This will bring about those things because whatever your subconscious mind believes will become your reality. If you can trick your subconscious mind into believing that you are happy and have an abundance of money, then before long you will start to see all the positive things and abundance in your life instead of all the lack and unhappiness. Your focus will be on the positive things rather than the negative. You'll condition your mind to see all the abundance and joy around you rather than all the limitations and sadness. Words are more powerful than you think, so repeat or write down this affirmation several times a day for at least 30 days. This will not only train yourself to be consistent and always be conscious of what you're trying to achieve with this positive thinking challenge, but it will also have a positive impact on the quality of your subconscious beliefs which should be in line with what you want to achieve in life. The next step to achieve more positivity in your life is to accept your own journey. You should not be doing this to impress someone else or to work towards a goal that someone else wants for you. It's incredibly difficult to be good at something that you don't enjoy doing. 
If you're working a job that you don't enjoy and doesn't fit your values or personality, then there will be too much resistance when you try to think positively about it. So follow your dreams, take some risk, and because it is your own journey that you're passionate about, it becomes so much easier to think positively and to maintain the drive to keep doing it. There is nothing worse than working a job you can't stand just because it's the safe option. In this instance, the only thing getting you out of bed every morning is the thought that you're accountable to your boss and the bank you owe your mortgage to. In some instances, circumstances may not allow change, but in many instances, it is just excuses that stop you from leading that life that will bring you real fulfillment and happiness. If you are able to follow your dreams, then positivity will come in abundance because you're not trying to force something that deep down you know you do not want. So accept that your own journey is not for everyone. Accept that everyone else will have their opinions about what you're doing, but their opinion will not make you happy. So set goals for yourself and go for them. Doing this will automatically take away many of the negative thoughts you had because dislike for your career is one of the main sources of negativity. The next way to increase your positivity is to be grateful. To practice this, you may want to start a gratitude journey. This is when you write down three to five things that you are thankful for every day. These can be small everyday things that perhaps you take for granted, or it can be the larger things that you have in your life, whether they are material possessions, experiences, relationships, or opportunities. By doing this every day, you will train your mind to find the positives in life and focus on the smaller wins and the everyday things you may have previously taken for granted. Lastly, a great way to be more positive is to take positive actions. Doing this consistently will not only attract more positive energy into your life, but it will increase your momentum towards what you want to achieve. Taking action is a great way to feel accomplished and fulfilled. This in turn will increase your levels of happiness, making positivity come far more naturally to you. For example, these small actions may be to do something kind for someone else. This will not only improve your own mood, positivity and happiness, but you will also improve someone else's day as well. It may just be to take a small step towards your own goal. By accomplishing that small task, you're able to tick it off your to-do list and take great pride in that action in itself. Starting with these small actions builds that momentum that take you to where you want to go. Those small consistent positive actions soon add up to significant achievements that seemed so far away before you started. Although the task of thinking more positively may take some serious conscious effort to begin with, it really needs to be something you want to do. If you don't, then there will be too much resistance there. If you really want to improve this area of your life, then you will see every other area of your life improve in unison. There really is no downside to positive thinking. Your thoughts eventually create your reality, so by feeding your mind with constructive thoughts will create a constructive, fulfilling life where you really can have an impact. It is this positivity that will make you look like you're lucky from the outside. I don't believe in luck. I believe luck just stems from the nature of the majority of your thoughts. If the majority of your thoughts are negative, then you'll come across as an unlucky person. If your thoughts are positive, your work will seem less hard and you'll seem to be lucky. Remember, your thoughts really do create your reality. So if you enjoyed this video and found it valuable, please like it and subscribe to Subconscious Theory for more content.